Hello friends, this is the second lecture of Diameters of the Skull. So in the last class, we have learned about the anterior posterior diameters of the fetal skull. Now let us learn about the transverse diameter of the fetal skull. So in the transverse diameter of the fetal skull, there are mainly four diameters. First two are more important, the next two are less important. But I would like to start from the less important one so that it becomes easier for me to write. So the first that is the last diameter which is not much important um, that is bimastoid diameter so uh, we have the both mastoid processes so mastoid processes will be somewhere here okay behind the ear this is the ear behind the ear you have mastoid processes so this is the some mastoid process okay the tips of the two mastoid processes we draw a diameter like this and that is called as bimastoid diameter. That is the distance between the tips of two mastoid processes. That is bimastoid diameter. So the first diameter is bimastoid diameter. So this bimastoid diameter is at the distance of 7.5. Its diameter is length is 7.5 centimeters. And it is the distance between the tips of mastoid processes okay this diameter is incompressible this is the only incompressible diameter by an obstetric operation we can't compress this or we can't decrease the length of this diameter Okay, that is by mastoid diameter. Now the next diameter which I would like to discuss is by temporal diameter. It is the distance between the two coronal sutures. If you see, this is the coronal suture. This is the sagittal suture which you see here. Okay, so the distance between the two coronal sutures. So this is the one end, the other end that side. So that distance between the two coronal sutures that is called as by temporal suture. Okay. So this is bitemporal suture. The second suture, which is by tempo, sorry, second diameter, which is by temporal diameter. This diameter is obtained by adding 0.5 to this. That is 8 centimeters. So this is the distance between anterior inferior ends, anterior and inferior ends of coronal suture okay let me just show you in one more diagram so in this diagram i will show you that so if this is the coronal suture right so this is the sagittal this is the sagittal suture frontal suture coronal suture lambdoid suture so this here there will be some anterior end this is the posterior end so the diameter which is joining with these anterior and inferior ends the both inferior ends to start with the both uh, ends of the coronal suture that is called as bitemporal diameter. Okay, that is bitemporal diameter. Now, anterior inferior, this one anterior inferior, second anterior inferior. So, when we join this both, that becomes bitemporal diameter. So, this is bitemporal diameter so the next diameter which i would like to discuss which is which is really important so these two are not much important but the most important diameters are super and subparietal diameter that is i can't show that super and subparietal diameter in this picture uh, so i will show it in this picture so we have a parietal eminence okay think that this is uh, one parietal eminence this is the second parietal eminence. Okay. This super or subparietal diameter, this will start from uh, one peri below the a point, it start it extends from a point below the parietal eminence and a point above the parietal eminence on the opposite side. It's like we have two parietal eminences. On one side, parietal eminence, uh, it extends below it, and on the other side, it extends above it. So this diameter is called the super and subparietal diameter so what is this called super and 
सब पेराइटल डायमीटर ओके सो दिस विल कनेक्ट वन पॉइंट बिलो दन पेराइटल एमिनेंस एंड ए पॉइंट अबाउ द पेराइटल एमिनेंस वॉट इज द डायमीटर इट्स इजियर टू रिमेंबर सेवन पॉइंट फाइव प्लस जीरो पॉइंट फाइव एट नाउ यूल हैव टू एड जीरो पॉइंट फाइव टू दिस सो इट इज एट पॉइंट फाइव सेंटीमीटर्स सो दिस इज द सुपर एंड सब पेराइटल डायमीटर नाउ वन मोर डायमीटर विच आई वुड लाइक टू डिस्कस हियर इज इट्स ऑल्सो इम्पॉर्टेंट विच इज बाई पेराइटल डायमीटर बाई पेराइटल डायमीटर इट इज द डिस्टेंस बिटवीन द टू पेराइटल एमिनेंसेस सो दिस इज वन पेराइटल एमिनेंस दिस इज अदर पेराइटल एमिनेंस वेन यू ड्रॉ अ लाइन बिटवीन द द डिस्टेंस बिटवीन द टू पेराइटल एमिनेंसेस दैट इज कॉल्ड हैज बाई पेराइटल डायमीटर सो या सो दिस इज बाई पेराइटल डायमीटर ओके सॉरी बाई पेराइटल डायमीटर सो वॉट इज द लेंथ ऑफ दिस बाई पेराइटल डायमीटर इट इज एट पॉइंट फाइव यूल हैव टू एड वन नाउ सो दिस इज नाइन पॉइंट फाइव वन सेंटीमीटर इफ यू एड दिस इज नाइन पॉइंट फाइव डायमीटर इट एक्सटेंस बिटवीन द टू पेराइटल एमिनेंसेस एंड दिस इज वेयर so this is the diameter which always engages in any presentation this is the diameter um, of engagement in any in any presentation even it may be vertex presentation or a bro presentation or face presentation always in the transverse diameter in the transverse diameters the biparietal diameter is the diameter of engagement so this is the most important diameter so always on place when you are writing in exam or when you are telling so start from biparietal diameter then super and subparietal diameter and then go to bitemporal diameter and then bimastoid diameter so these are the transverse diameters of the fetal skull i think you guys have understood about the transverse diameters of the fetal skull so thank you guys for watching i just am that i will even explain about the uh, circumstance circumferences okay this will end the whole topic of fetal skull okay circumferences so what are the circumferences of fetal skull in different positions that is important and what is the plane of engagement so one whenever there is complete flexion okay in complete flexion what happens see this is the fetal skull okay now the baby is in complete flexion so this is how the baby is and so think that these are the eyes nose and nose so it is in complete flexion so whenever the baby is in complete flexion the diameter always it is biparietal diameter as i have said and the other diameter which engages is sub occipito here there will be the bregma whenever there is complete engagement this is the bregma okay and this is the oxib lambda suture lambdoid suture and this is it okay it will something like this so always the diameter of engagement is sub occipito bregmatic okay in complete flexion the diameter of engagement is sub occipito bregmatic okay so this is occiput and this is bregma okay so in complete flexion the diameter is so sub occipito bregmatic okay so this is sub occipito bregmatic now what is, this is the anterior posterior diameter transverse diameter i have al always said that all the uh, only transverse diameter which engages is by parietal diameter okay by parietal uh, diameter always so if you see the shape is almost round and the circumference is 27.5 cm okay so this is in complete flexion now what about in deflection yeah in complete flexion the presentation is 
vertex presentation you can see that okay now the second one is whenever there is deflection so in deflection even in deflection there is vertex presentation okay even whenever there is deflection it's vertex presentation so let me draw the picture of the baby in deflection so if this is the baby this is the occiput okay yeah the baby is in deflection it is not flexed at all sorry okay the baby is in deflection so now the uh, engagement diameter of engagement uh, transverse it is always biparietal so anterior posterior it is occipito this is occiput so occipito frontal so the occipito frontal is it starts from the occipital eminence and it uh, ends at the root of nose so this is the diameter of engagement now what is it the diameter of engagement in this position is occipito frontal okay this is the diameter of engagement so what is the presentation it is again vertex presentation and what is its diameter 20 uh, sorry 34 centimeters so it is a little bigger and now uh, the engagement of transverse diameter is always a uh, biparietal diameter biparietal diameter always okay so this is about the deflection now uh, if there is incomplete extension the second third one is when the baby is in incomplete extension then what happens then what is the engaging diameter okay whenever the baby is in incomplete ex extension incomplete extension or you can also say this has partial extension right or partial extension in such situations how does the baby look the baby has extended its chin a little more so this is the occipital eminence so this is the mentum okay so this is the occipital eminence now uh, what uh, does the now what is the diameter of engagement here here in incomplete extension the diameter of engagement starts at mentum so a transverse diameter is always and always um, by parietal diameter there is no need to worry about it but now uh, anterior posterior diameter if you wanted to know it is mentum that is the uh, middle part I mean center part of the chin it starts and then it ends at the highest point of the sinciput if you have to see this is the uh, anterior fontanelle okay this is the posterior fontanelle okay the highest point of the sagittal suture is here so this is the highest point of the sagittal suture so it is like this so this is what is it it is mento vertical diameter mento vertical diameter this is the engaging diameter and the other engaging diameter that is in transverse is biparietal diameter and the circumference it is 70 37.5 degrees uh, for 37.5 centimeters that is the circumference which is the biggest largest and here the uh, baby will be in bigger ovoid the uh, it uh, it looks like a bigger oval shaped okay so this is the largest circumference in mento vertical that is bro presentation here you see bro presentation the uh, it is never possible the vaginal delivery is never possible in bro presentation that is here the diameter is mento vertical now the last diameter which is the fourth one the last circumference which is 
complete extension if the uh, head is in complete extension okay then what happens if the head is in complete extension it is now in complete extension okay now the baby is in complete extension now the uh, diameter it starts from this is the think that this is the momentum okay uh, sub momentum so it starts uh, at the junction of floor of mouth and the uh, neck it starts at the junction of floor of mouth and neck and then it continues till the bregma that is anterior fontanel so if you see this is the mouth this is the nose this is the eyes and this is the anterior fontanel okay this is the posterior fontanel where there is lambdoid suture and this is the sagittal suture now head the tip of the bregma okay so this is the engaging diameter what do we call this engaging diameter has submento bregmatic so the submento bregmatic it is the engaging diameter here the transverse engaging diameter is biparietal diameter it is almost round in shape now okay now what is the circumference circumference is 27.5 cm here this uh, the presentation here is if you see it is face presentation so here even here the normal delivery is possible so this is about the circumference and the transverse diameters of the fetal skull thank you guys for watching my lecture if you have any doubts please comment it in the comment section if you feel something is inadequate in this lecture even then comment it in the comment section thank you for watching my lecture thank you